Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. This is Despotism 3K. Endless mode. Let's do it. I feel that when we say endless mode, you could almost confuse that with Edna mode, you know, from, uh, from The Incredibles. Anyway, no bother. Here's the strat. Here's the strat. We're going to go absolutely, absolutely hardcore breeding. That is what we are 100% going after. Uh, this is a, a strategy that is bound to work. Absolute 100% chance of success. I'm so confident. Either way, it involves getting an early uh, level in our breeding chamber. So we've now got six people working straight away uh, in our breeding chamber. Then we'll dedicate all of our resources to, uh, to power production. And then we'll slowly just allocate things from there. Uh, human storage. I do want to get that upgrade. I might as well get it now. I think we should be more than fine since we're not really pressured for power at all much during the uh, during the first day. Of course, maybe I shouldn't have got human storage. Maybe I should uh, instead have got uh, an upgrade to our power. That might have been the wise thing to do, but when did I ever do the wise thing? Uh, more people in here, please. Good, 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 good. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's get an upgrade there. We're still early enough where I feel that, you know, we can probably afford to make a, a mistake and, you know, we can just restart. So, I'm, you know, I'd, I like to say that I take risks on the first day, but, you know, all things considered, I kind of know how things play out on the first day anyway. So, usually, um, it's not too much of a problem. Send a couple of people to the bio, um, the bioreactor. Yep. Need to get rid of people because, of course, we need to try and get 30 people by day two. There we go. Send more people in there. Uh, and then let's just click that button. Cool. Strange mechanism crawls for mechanical tentacles with a dead human attached to them. What are you? The tentacles click angrily. Yes, I hate Peter Parker too. I hate Peter Parker too. Tentacles demonstrate they carry humans. Should we let them into the club? Yes, we'll take you. Whoa, 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 what are you? Octopus's claws, 80% fa faster, chance to crush human, 10%. Okay, mm, sure, I guess that's a kind of a positive, I guess. Also kind of a horrific negative as well. Okay, speaking of, let's immediately get an upgrade there. Can we get an upgrade here as well? Yeah, let's get an upgrade there. You know, I feel confident. I feel confident enough that we're gonna, we're gonna make our power back, okay. Let's send a bunch of people to the bioreactor. I'm sick and tired of not producing enough, uh, enough people. I unfortunately don't think we're going to manage to get the achievement, whatever it is, produce 30 people by the end of day two. Uh, it's it's tough. It really is tough. It's difficult to do because you need to keep on cycling. You need to keep on cycling the humans, and if you have people that are constantly going to the to the bioreactor, then um, or if you have you know people constantly moving around. Then, uh, then that is still kind of, kind of a little bit of a, little bit of a problem. Uh, food generator, maybe. Bioreactor, definitely. Arms, yeah. We would probably be fine if we did arms, but that's besides the point, really. Okay, keep on going. Yeah, see, the problem is in the early stages of the game, you spend so much time, like, transporting people around... So in order to dedicate resources, you know, and resources and arms, basically, to sending people to the bioreactor, that takes away from a whole bunch of stuff, really. Uh, let's get an upgrade to the breeding tube. Yes, please. Let's do that. I also want to get an upgrade today, hopefully, to uh, to the human uh, storage. That's what we're after, because uh, that will increase our stamina, of course, which is, which is really, really nice. Okay. And everyone that we have left into into there. Beautiful. Uh, I think we might actually just make this, you know? Yeah, we'll be fine. Great, let's get that human storage. Just to make sure that we are absolutely going to be fine. And then let's go straight to the next day. I'm Shredder, bow to me pathetic piece of junk. Isn't Shredder a device that cuts paper? Um... You a boss? Call him over or I'll make you swim in the bioreactor. Isn't a shredder a device that cuts paper? What a stupid name. How dare you? I'm a leader of the ancient food clan. After a short struggle, uh, you lost one tentacle in the fight but received 200 power and 25 food from the bioreactor. I mean, I'd rather have a tentacle to be honest, but, you know, swings and roundabouts, I guess. 
you can't always have positives. Um, can we get an upgrade to anything? We've got 419 power. Um, well, first of all, we can replace an arm. Probably get another one, actually. Yeah, you know what? Let's live dangerously. There we go. And send people to the bioreactor just to make sure that we've got enough power. Just like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, no problems whatsoever there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is pure beauty that we are witnessing right now. Okay, great. Everything seems to be going pretty darn well, apart from the fact that we are occasionally crushing people uh, mid-flight. Not really much we can do about that, I'm afraid. Um, I suspect that that is a, a straight 10% modifier that we can do very, very little to change. Okay, and change all of this. Change all of these people around. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right. Uh, we're fine for food. We should probably get an upgrade just because we can, I guess. We should also probably get an upgrade to the bioreactor, but I'm going to focus on that after uh, the tick has passed. And then let's just send everyone else that we possibly can to the bioreactor. It's good for the food. It's good for the energy. It's good for everything. Perfect. Great. Um... We could get some arms, we could get some, well, we could get anything really, but uh, not until the next day, unfortunately. Um, honestly, things are going pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that bonus that we, that we ended up getting. Those arms are actually making a substantial difference. They really, really are. Uh, sure, let's keep churning people away. Right into the bioreactor with you. And then let's go to the next day. A group of our puny human scouts came across a circus building. The great must have fireworks in there, which we can obtain. I love fireworks. Fireworks went into the breeding tube so festive. Not sure how it works, but humans get less exhausted now. Yeah, I still don't understand why that actually happens. The fact that humans get slower, or that humans get less, get exhausted 30% slower. It's not a huge modifier, but it's, it's enough that it, you know, that I'm pretty happy with it. Put it that way. Um... No, I'm going to get an upgrade to our energy generator. That's a pretty darn big upgrade that, uh, that we should be pretty darn happy about. There we go. Check a few more people into the bioreactor. That's French for bioreactor, just in case you uh, didn't catch that. I am a little bit of a linguist, I must say. Although you could uh, you could probably tell just by, just by listening. Uh, either way, today, hopefully we're going to try and get our, our arms. We're also going to hopefully try and get the breeding tube upgraded. We're also going to try and get the human storage upgraded. All things considered, I want to get everything upgraded. But I always, you know, shoot perhaps a little bit, a little bit optimistically, I would say. There we go. Uh, yep, just swapping people out, as you do. There we go. In, out, in, out, shake it all about. Do the hokey cokey, turn around, that's what it's all about. Hey, uh, yeah, looking pretty darn good right now. Nothing that we can really complain about. Uh, we are a little bit short on food, so that's probably something that we'll want to think about improving. Uh, but other than that, nothing really. Uh, human storage, you know what, we could do it. We could perhaps do it. We could perhaps just about pull it off. Don't feel comfortable enough trying to pull it off and failing. Let's do that. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh my goodness, that was that got us like pretty borderline there. Okay, that 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 scared me just a smidgen. Oh boy. I thought I thought we were gonna be red. I thought we were gonna be scammed there. It told me that it was yellow at the very start, but I thought that, that was gonna come back to bite me. Either way, we've got um, an increased human storage now, which is quite nice. Let's go to the next day. Smarty Pants. Frank, the puny humans, suggests an improvement to the running wheel. Listen to your slaves is a sign of weakness. Let's see what he's invented. Human demands we give him 70 power to apply the technology. Sure. All right, I'll bite. Human put one more wheel inside your wheel so that humans could roll the wheel whilst they wheel the wheel. Awesome. Now the generator produces power 18% faster. Oh my goodness. That is the upgrade that we had on our winning uh, standard run, actually. 18% uh, increase uh, in power production. That's pretty huge. That is really, really huge, all things considered. Uh, very, very happy with that. 
That's really good. That is really, really good. I cannot overstate how good a power modifier is. They really seem to be, at least in my humble opinion, the way to go. If you can manage to get a, if you can manage to get yourself a power modifier, then uh, then they're pretty darn good. Uh, I'm gonna get an upgrade to the food generator because I think we are a little bit touch and go when it comes to food, but that's okay. We're we're coping. We're coping by the skin of our teeth. I just heard someone be crushed. Who was crushed there? Someone was crushed. Another person was crushed. Why is everyone being crushed today? It's not exactly ideal, but it is what it is. One, two, three. One, two, three. Come on. There we go. And one, two. Yeah, man, I hate having so few arms. It really is so irritating. Okay. Here we go. Honestly, this is like, this is why I love the late game primarily is because you just get so many more arms. Okay, fine. I know we should be getting rid of duplicates. Or puny humans, I should say. Duplicates? Why am I calling them duplicates? That's from oxygen not included. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter. Anyway, let's get rid of them all. I want to get arms. I think that we actually should get more arms. I think that we can just just about manage to pull this off today. Yeah, easily. Easily gonna manage. I knew that we were gonna be chucking a whole bunch more people into the bioreactor anyway, so if we did end up getting an extra arm, it would actually just allow us to um, just straight up, you know, transport those people to the bioreactor faster. Uh, therefore, it was totally worth doing. Uh, we should probably move some people out of our food production area, but that's fine. Biter. One puny human died and stood up again and bit another's legs. Uh, I know this movie trope to the bioreactor with all the victims quickly. We lost five humans and received neither food nor power, but perhaps we averted something horrible. I don't like zombies. I don't want to ever deal with zombies. I'm fed up with zombies. Go away, zombies. Is that the... Is that what you're supposed to say? I'm pretty sure that's exactly what you're supposed to say. 1,100 power to get our thingy upgraded. Um... And a lot less power to get a whole bunch of extra infrastructure upgraded. Uh, 420 to get uh, to get the breeding tube upgraded. That's probably our next objective. So we will try and pursue that. Uh, also, the bioreactor. Bioreactor is probably a good a good place to start. You know, give us a nice little extra nice little extra kick per person. You crushed a, a human there. Why why did you do that? Why did you do that, video game? Okay. Keep on churning. Keep on churning. I do love how you can go all the way up to level 15. I'm interested... I'm very interested to see if we are actually going to be able to survive that long. You know, the optimist in me says, we can totally do it. The pessimist in me says, you need to look at, you need to look at yourself in the mirror, Potato, and realize that you are not going to be able to do this. Um... Breeding tube. Yeah, I want to get the upgrade to the breeding tube. Let's chuck a whole bunch of people into the bioreactor because there's no point in doing it right now and risking our risking our neck for it. We might as well just wait a little bit and then uh, and then upgrade nice and safely. There we go, just like that. Honestly, things are going so well. Uh, yep, beautiful. So we've got three bits of machinery on level four, and humans are full in all of these things, apart from the the, breeding, uh, the human storage chamber. Uh, we need to get food production upgraded a little bit, although food production, I must say, is relatively mundane, and I would say one of my least favorite aspects of the game, but it is what it is, it's fine. Uh, let's get the bioreactor upgraded, that would be pretty good to do. And then let's go to the next day. Stuck, who do they think, who do they think safety warnings are for? A puny human thought he was smarter than the machine and got his arm stuck in the food generator again. Um... Just tear the arm off and keep it working. Let's run the machine backwards. This should release the human. This is stupid. Just keep like working like nothing happened. Let the machine run backwards. Yeah, it turns out that's not how it works. Food generator is broken and it will take a day to fix. That's fine though, because I believe that if we didn't do that, then his whole body would get stuck in the thing. And I'm pretty sure that I've had that happen to me. And it just sucks because it just, you know, reduces food production by like 15% or whatever. Or maybe even more than that. I don't know. But either way, it's kind of a it's kind of a big deal. This way, it's not going to be a big deal at all. I mean, we're not even we're not even a max a max level on the uh, on the on the good old the good old food generator yet. So that's something that we've got to work towards. 
and it looks like we're going to be able to nice and easily accomplish that today. We're going to manage to get it up to uh, level 4, just like everything else. Also, we're going to see if we can try and get arms. Getting arms is a little bit ambitious. 690 gold, or 690 power, should I say. That might be a little bit out of our ability range, but that's okay. That is A-OK -okay with me. Okay, keep on chucking the humans in the bioreactor. Man. Honestly, everything's going pretty darn well. I'm pretty happy with the fact that we've got, uh, we've got two super arms. Is it only two super arms? I thought it was all of our arms. Oh, we only have two. Oh, I thought super dumb. I thought we had, we had all octopus arms. But at least they're kind of a little bit better, I guess. But, oh well. I'm pretty sure Dr. Dr. Octopus had, like, four arms. Which is a little bit strange, because he was called Dr. Octopus, but... He... I'm pretty certain didn't have... Didn't have eight arms. That might be a fun little bit of movie trivia, but I'm pretty certain that he didn't. Um, if anyone wants to correct me in the comments, please feel free. But I'm pretty sure he didn't have eight arms. Pretty sure he only had four. Uh, so there you go. I would love to know if I'm actually correct about that. Anyway, um, we're seemingly doing pretty good. We're in a pretty strong position. Uh, Brass Monkey Weather, a cold spoil spell is upon us. We need to deal with it somehow. Let's spin the wheel so fast to heat up the whole system. Let's winterize our wiring with hot burgers. Let's give HP and a human orange. Christmas is coming. Spin the wheel so fast it would heat up the whole system. We lost 204 power. The cold power made production 17% slower. Uh, there might be a way to avoid to avoid that. Um, I, I don't know how to do that. And quite frankly, I'm not really that interested in finding out how. It doesn't particularly matter, all things considered. Um, it's, only for, it's only for a day, I believe. Man, I love the way that it changes the whole screen. It really is. It really is pretty dope. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we'll survive. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Besides, we've got a little, you know, our little extra inner wheel, which is, which is doing wonders for us. It really is. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. So we are technically losing a little bit of power each round but we're not losing that much and i think that we might just manage to keep our uh, to keep ourselves afloat uh definitely no chance of an upgrade i don't think there's an, a chance of an upgrade for anything unfortunately only thing that we might conceivably get an upgrade for is the arms but that even that is very far away uh so disappointing but nonetheless understandable we can we can make do Okay, good, good, good. Almost done. Almost the end of the day. Swap out a couple of people in the breeding tube. Sure. We can we can deal with this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Uh, and the final two red people in the breeding tube. Yeah, once you're up to like level three or even level like four, e sorry, level four or even like level three, you're mostly fine for like stamina. Like, you're never really, like, pressured like you are in the early stages. There we go. I just love the ruins of research centers. We found a huge supply of rare metals, a good amount to fix our wiring. Um, let's produce wool from wiring. Sure, let's produce wool from wiring. The experiment failed. Not only is unwilling to bend, it's only because it comes super conductive at ridiculous the temperatures. We spent 170 power on these experiments. So we didn't get anything. Well, I'm sure that there is probably a real benefit there, but I just missed out on it because I don't know what all of the events do. I feel really bad about it, but that's not going to stop me from having a really successful and, uh, and fantastic run. Uh, also, I can get an upgrade to my power generator, and that is something that I think that we're going to probably try and achieve today. I think we might actually just be able to do it. So we'll need to get... Ooh, we need to get 1,500 power if we want to safely upgrade. Tell you what, we're not going to be far off. We're not going to be... We're not far off, you know? Yeah, I actually think that we might just be able to do this. Okay, see if we can chuck a few more people in today. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, unfortunately, don't think we're going to manage to do it today. Oh, tell a lie, we will manage to do it today. 
Right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to reduce a couple of people there. We're going to chuck a whole bunch of people into the bioreactor. Because I'm worried that we're not going to make it. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy, that was close. That was really close. Okay, we might have somehow lost it for ourselves. This is a little bit dicey here. We're gonna, we're gonna, hopefully, hopefully, okay, we're gonna survive, we're gonna survive, we're gonna survive. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, this is close. This is close. Three puny humans dare to escape. The fools are hidden behind the bioreactor for some reason. Great, they deliver themselves. Let's make an example. And we throw everyone in the bioreactor. We're running of humans. Let's just keep working. Just seal the hole they escaped through. Sure. Turns out the humans we use the bioreactor for cooking. They refuse to eat it now. Wait, what? People don't eat bioreactor meat. It only produces power now. Um. Okay. That's slightly problematic. And by slightly problematic, I mean very problematic. We're going to try and get more people into our breeding chamber. But we are going to have real problems with food. Not this turn, but maybe next turn. Uh, yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. That sort of set us back a little bit. That sort of whole daring mission to try and get, uh, to try and get the power generator leveled up. It almost paid off as well. Okay, let's put people into power generation. There we go. And everyone else we get is going to go into food production. There we go. Perfect. Okay, it's fine. We managed to recover. I think we're going to manage to get away with this. Uh, not too many casualties, I don't think. One or two people might die. Yeah, one or two people died. It's fine. It's fine. It happens. Um... I think we might just manage to be fine for power. Yeah, we might just manage to scrape by for power. We, we're going to need to do a little bit better on food. Um, oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. We managed to lose two people to food. Come on. Come on. Come on. Power needs... To, we need to do better on power. Okay, chuck a few people in the bioreactor. Oh, I think we've had it. I think we've had it. Oh! Oh my goodness, that was close. Oh boy, oh boy. An old Asian man suddenly appeared with fur legs and a shiny bald head. Uh, free humans, a foul beast I have to destroy you. Throw the old geezer. Uh, sure. As a sign of goodwill, would you please kindly destroy the bioreactor? If it will be no use to you anymore. Sure. Well, he did ask. Rebuilding the bioreactor will take a day. A jet engine appeared at the old man's back and he flew away. I'm not actually going to blow it up, am I? Bioreactor is broken. It'll be fixed at the end of the day. Ah, uh, fine. Well, I think that we're slowly but surely managing to destroy this run for ourselves in weird and creative ways, actually. Okay, we dropped a human at exactly the wrong moment. Okay, fine. We managed to survive. Hey, you know what? This is this was looking super super dicey at some points. And now it's not looking super dicey. It's actually looking it's actually looking up. Would you believe that? We might just manage to get enough food as well. There we go. Honestly, that's great. Uh, we can't use the bioreactor. So it's not all it's not all rosy. Um but that's not too bad. You know, things could be worse. Sure, they could be worse. Uh, yep, yeah, we're, we're managing. We're just about managing to hit our food levels. Um, we're just about managing to hit our power levels. If we didn't have, if we didn't have this inner wheel and the, uh, and the, 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 the fireworks, then we would be toast. We would be absolutely toast. Goodness me. This is, uh, I think this could be described as very touch and go, perhaps. You know, we're not sure day to day if we're going to survive. I think we might have had it, unfortunately. Not maybe currently, but we're certainly close. <laughs> we're certainly very close. 
Uh, can we produce enough food? I think we actually might be able to produce enough food. Yeah, totally fine for the amount of food. Uh, totally fine for the amount of power. Let's go right to the next day. What a lovely shiny pipe. Whatever my humans find, the wasteland belongs to me. Let's place a dancing pole in the breeding tube. Should enhance the human's enthusiasm. Let's throw it into the bioreactor and see what happens. Why would you bring a pipe? Do not distract me. Throw it in the bioreactor. Pipe broke down. What do you think would happen? It'll take a day for the pipe to resolve and the bioreactor will become usable again. Are you kidding me? Someone commented in the comments that I should throw the pipe into the bioreactor and apparently it increased production. I'm pretty sure someone said that. I now feel like a total idiot. Um, but that is what it is. I feel like a total idiot with a relative amount of frequency, actually. So, uh, you know, no offense to the guy that was trying to help out in the comments. But apparently chucking a pole into the bioreactor doesn't actually have a positive effect. Who'd have thunk it, eh? Who'd have thunk it? Um, right, keep going, keep going, one, two, one, two, yeah, it's really annoying that we can't get rid of all of these extra people that we've just got mooching around and consuming food every day, um, it's kind of annoying, and by kind of annoying, I mean it's really annoying, like we're wasting all of the potential of our breeding tube, um, so there's literally nothing that we can do until the end of the day, which is disappointing. Although, at least we're making food, you know, regularly. We're surpassing expectations of food, which is kind of nice. There's nothing really to do. Truth be told, we can't really get any upgrades because we're, we're, too, we're too power poor at the moment. Um, even if we did have the power to do it, I, I don't think we want to because it's, you know, it's, it's too risky at the moment. We're, you know, we're barely of a third at the best of times. So... You could say that things have been better, but at the same time, you could also say that things have been worse, and things have indeed been worse. Uh, 2,100 power to upgrade the power generator to the next level. That's what we should really try and chase. That's what would be really, really good. Uh, however, we need to get human storage upgraded. That's like also a priority. There we go. There's a power leak in the food generator. Cut the power to the facility immediately. Slow and steady wins the race. Cut the power to the facility immediately. The problem is fixed, but it took 360, 346 power to sort out. I mean, that's fine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then one more. Four. One, two, three. One, two, two, three. One, two. One, two. There we go. All right, and everyone into the bioreactor. We can actually start, fingers crossed, making a little bit of headway. Great. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to have a massive power, a massive power, massive food issue here. Everyone into food, please. Oh, no, half of our dudes are going to die. This is going to be a disaster because we don't get any steaks. Oh, yikes. That was actually fine. We survived. We survived quite comfortably there, actually. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. We just lurch from, like, one horrific problem to the next horrific problem. Uh, but at least we're able to keep our food numbers, our food numbers, our number of humans under control somewhat, a little bit more, which is rather nice. Come on, more human production, please. Yep, there we go. More people into the breeding tube. And hopefully we can start increasing our power production again. I think we're going to... We're gonna, oh goodness me. I think we've pretty much had it. I think we're, we're pretty much there, honestly, in terms of what we can actually do. Um, if we manage to get the power for today, we need 666. We might just manage to get that. Okay, we just managed to get it. But boy, oh boy, we're close. A cute giant mutant baby. Um, let's dissolve it in the bioreactor cutely. Apparently, the baby is a complete uh, myth. Apparently, it's terrible, and I'm totally full of nonsense whenever I say that the baby is a really, really good upgrade that we should always get. Uh, so, apparently, I'm totally full of nonsense, but uh, these arms are actually killing so many of my dudes. <laughs> like, they've, they've killed at least 10. At least 10. And that's it's quite a number, really. Um, sure, more here. More into the food production. Man, I would love to get some upgrades sometime today, but apparently that's not going to be a possibility. It's fine. It happens. 
Okay. I can feel some deaths coming along. Ooh, yikes. Ten dudes all jumping up and down. Oh, well, at least they're trying. At least they're trying to make food for the whole the whole colony. Look at the die uh, just so many people are dying. Like I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't really mind if they died on the way to the bioreactor, but the fact of the matter is is that they're dying, you know, left, front, and center. They're dying everywhere. One, two, one, one. There we go. More people in. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, we are just about surviving. Oh boy, day 14. You know, honestly, I feel pretty good about going into day 14. Um, I don't feel good about this run in general. It started off so strongly, but then we just sort of threw it away. I say we because I'm trying to share around some of the blame. In actuality, it was all my fault. I misplayed very, very poorly. Uh, cool, let's go to the next one. What if humans are playing a daring escape? We need to drop a spy amongst the human. I'm going to drop a spy. The spy cannot be killed. The spy I should keep around. I do not want to kill the spy. I've got that in my mind. I don't want to kill the spy. I'm not going to kill the spy. I'm just trying to repeat the mantra. I'm not going to kill the spy. You hear that? I'm not going to kill the spy. Okay. Can we get an upgrade to this, actually? Yeah, we totally can. That would be really, really good. Uh, is that what we want to invest in? I think it is, actually, yeah. Let's do it. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, it does mean that our maximum number of humans has increased, which is fine. Uh, but it also means that in order to, you know, produce enough food for them, we're going to have to get an upgrade to the food generator, which is something that I am very much wanting to do. Oh, no, I took the spy. Okay, I can't kill the spy. I, I know I cannot kill the spy. So the spy is there. I can't kill him. I'm not going to kill the spy. The spy must survive. Must not kill the spy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay, just put, put more in. Put more in. Okay, the spy is almost been recharged. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, the spy is going to be put into the running wheel. Here we go. Come on. Chop, chop. It's almost the spy's turn. There we go. The spy is back in there now. Beautiful. That means we don't need to worry about that. We can just bung a whole bunch of people into the into the bioreactor. Did someone just die? I've, I heard someone just die. It's fine. It happens. Uh, we've got enough power to upgrade the food generator, so let's do it. Let's chuck a few more people into the food generator so that we're actually generating more food, because now we've got a higher number of maximum humans. And then let's go to the next day. The return. John reported back, humans mostly talk uh, that one cool night at the breeding tube and how they hate running the wheel daily. John uncovered no passionate leaders ready to plan an escape. Was that it? Was that all I... Was that the reason that I didn't kill the spy? Is that literally it? Well, John, I must say, you are a charlatan and a fool and a very uninteresting guy, and you should have at least reported back with something a little bit more interesting than that. I feel that you did sort of... You did sort of... You left me high and dry with that one, you know? You got me invested in the story, and then you just took it all away. Um, okay, wow, holy cow. This episode has gone on for... A very considerable length of time and I thought it was gonna end a long time ago I thought we were gonna die but you know now that we've paused mid-episode we're guaranteed that we're uh, we're gonna die in the next episode anyway ladies and gents thank you very very much for watching this episode of course it's been uh, there's been despotism the game has been despotism 3k my name of course has been over potato thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye